Big news coming out of Wine, which helps translate Windows API calls into POSIX calls, allowing you to run Windows applications on Linux on the fly. A great and useful tool. And there's been an experiment going on in the background. It has resulted in the fact that Wine will be moving their source repos over to a different host. And that's from where they currently have it in GitHub over to GitLabs, which is quite interesting to see. So let's check out the post that tells us about the experiment they took before making the decision. Right now we're on the page for GitHub. And if you want more information about Wine, you can check it out at winehq.org. I also have a video about how to set it up. Make sure to check that out. I'll put a link below. Wine stands for Wine is not another emulator because it converts those API calls to something Linux can understand. So it's not an emulator. It's actually, let's call it a translation layer instead. So what made them do the switch? Well, here's a post, the GitLab experiment wrap up from Alexandre. Folks, here's a summary of the GitLab experiment discussion with some feedback and comments. Thanks to everybody who sent their feedback in. Things that people liked. Let's go through those first and learn about why developers might choose one repo host over another repo host and even be willing to spend so much time and effort in order to switch hosts. This comes at quite a surprise, at least for me, that they would be open to doing this. The benefits must outweigh the cons here, so let's talk about some of these benefits right now. So it says fetching commits directly with Git instead of applying a patches from emails. Indeed, that's a major help for me as well. Better tracker, easy to see the list of pending reviews from Hugh. Two things so far, possibility to host more wine projects as well as a private wine trees to share WIP patches. Indeed, it would be nice to have all wine projects in one place instead of the current mix of GitHub, SourceForge, etc. So currently they have different places where they're hosting things really for release downloads and then the actual repo itself is on GitHub. And they're hoping to actually combine these two by using GitLab. So I guess we might be seeing our releases come out of here in the near future. So potential for automation, GitLab offers many services that we will be able to take advantage of. The most obvious being CI for the test bot. Having all the data in a proper database instead of free form emails should make it possible to do other interesting things as well. Some other things that the author likes, updating status doesn't need to go through me. People can assign reviewers, supersede patches, etc. directly. That reduces the workload and improves the bus factor once we have figured out how to make test bot results reliable. We could also have maintainers merge commits directly. A full discussion thread for the given merge request is readily available or accessible. It doesn't require hunting down multiple revisions of a patch and associating threads in the mailman archives. So it makes for easier communication here. Updating seems easier with GitLab and a way to make a database of information as well. So nice improvements. Now let's talk about the cons of going over or things that could use some improvement. This here is things that can be improved. So I'm gonna call these cons. As they mentioned, sign-offs are a bit more cumbersome. We should change the requirements to something to better adapt to GitLab. So not necessarily an entire con, but it's going to take them changing some stuff around to make their lives easier for sign-offs. It's for the second thing here, it's only possible to approve a whole merge request, not individual commits. I think that's an acceptable trade-off, but we could imagine other approaches. Again, maybe you don't want an entire merge request being made. Instead, you want just a few lines of the entire merge. Well, it doesn't look like GitLab has that capability, at least with how the wine team currently does it. The mailing list gateway creates too much noise. Mixing comments from GitLab and mailing lists isn't very clean. We can make some tweaks or use separate lists or even rethink the approach of the mail gateway. GitLab threading support is limited. Nested comment threads are not supported. That's true, but looking through the past few months of patch reviews, it seems like we almost never use nested threads, so I think we can get by with that limitation. Reviewers can push fix ups to commits, but that requires the author to grant explicit permission. Hopefully we can tweak access rights to allow this by default. So something that they use by default. And what is the conclusion here? We'll read about it here at the end. But before we do smash that like button, it's great to hear from developers and 
what approaches they have to take in order to make their projects even better. Again, this is going to be a fairly large hurdle for them to move things over. So what they've concluded is I think GitLab is working well for us and most people seem generally happy with it. So the plan here is to go forward and make GitLab the development platform for Wine, which is big news. Alexandre seems to be working on the transition now since there was mainly positive reviews. As mentioned above in their post, make sure to thank an open source developer today for putting in time and effort to make our lives a little easier with free software that does tremendous things for us, such as Wine, a wonderful translation layer that allows us to use Windows applications on Linux. We all know that sometimes you just can't get away from those Windows applications that are used, especially in office settings, production settings, and how great is it to have an open source project like this with a kind and great team of contributors. I wish them well on their transition over to GitLab. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe below. Hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.